this bride to be wed tonight. We're gathered here today to witness and celebrate the marriage of Luke Ellis and Hope Hancock. As family and friends, we gather tonight to celebrate the love and bond that Luke and Hope already share and to witness their solemn commitment before God to join in holy matrimony. Weddings are a time to celebrate a new marriage while also reflecting upon our own marriages. So tonight it's a time that we remember the sacred and seriousness of a marriage commitment. So as each of us gather here tonight to witness the vows and commitments being made, let us also remember the commitments that we have made to our spouses and to those of you who are not yet to be married, the commitment you too will one day make to your future spouses. Luke, Hope, you came to this place through very different paths but will soon walk from here united on one single path together. You both arrived here at this moment in time as members of your respective families, but you're going to leave here today a member of each other's new special family that you're about to create. Now, while your lives started in very different places, you spent many years together looking towards this special evening. I recently learned the rest of a story uh, when Luke called me a number of years ago in high school in a panic. Luke had told me he had been stopped doing 30 miles an hour over the speed limit on Highway 4 and was worried about going to jail. <laughs> Recently, I learned that Hope, you too, had been stopped on that same road, but Luke was in a lot more trouble because he was chasing after you trying to catch up. Well, Luke... From the time of high school, you've been chasing after Hope. Through Texas A&M, you've been chasing after her. And tonight, hopefully you're going to catch her once and for all, forever. So Luke, Hope, is it both your desire to forsake all others and enter into a lifelong marriage to each other? If you will face each other. Hold each other's hands. We will reflect upon the importance of marriage. The Apostle Paul talked about the important roles that husbands and wives share in marriage. In Ephesians, the Apostle Paul provided instructions to both husbands and wives and really to all of us. Regarding wives, he said they should submit to their husbands. Now, he wasn't talking about passive, blind following, but he was talking about respect and love. Hope, as a wife, your job is to challenge Luke. You want to challenge him lovingly. You want to help him as he learns all the things that God has in store for the both of you. Be patient with him. Be an encourager to him. And when he opens his heart to you, keep those secrets sacred and love him above all else. And every once in a while, let him catch you. <laughs> Luke, you too are to submit to hope with love and respect, but the Apostle Paul had an extra instruction for you. You are to put hope's interest ahead of your own, even to the point of sacrifice, even if it's laying down your life as Christ loved the church and laid down his life for us. That's how you are to love hope as well. It simply means you need to spend the rest of your life chasing after her, making her, her feel loved and chased after and wanted, and maybe she'll let you catch her every once in a while. But both of you should submit to one another, and if you do so, you'll work together as one unit the way God had planned it. And for your marriage to survive the storms that will come, and I promise you there will be storms, always keep God the center of your marriage and follow his instructions and holy scriptures. Or if I can put it another way, when you're chasing each other through life, always be chasing towards God and never away from him. The Bible says, for this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and they will become one flesh. The idea in this verse is that marriage takes two people and makes them one, one in body, one in mind, and one in spirit. So as we enter this sacred time of commitment, let us go to the author of our faith in prayer. Please join me in prayer. 
Father, we thank you for Hope and Luke and the life that you have created for them. And Father, we thank you that you have brought them to this place and we celebrate them tonight. Father, I pray that you will bless their marriage and bless the family that you are creating tonight and all the things that they do. Father, give them a great adventure and may you be well pleased in all that happens tonight. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now, with an understanding of what the commitment of marriage is, I'm going to ask each of you, do you wish to enter into this marriage tonight? I'm glad you said that. All right. Luke, if you'll repeat after me and look into Hope's eyes. I, Luke Ellis. I, Luke Ellis. Take you, Hope Hancock. Take you, Hope Hancock. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded, wedded wife. My constant friend. My constant friend. My faithful partner. My faithful partner. My love. My love. From this day forward. From this day forward. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. Our family. Our family. And friends. And friends. I solemnly vow to be your faithful partner. I solemnly vow to be your faithful partner. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In joy as well as in sorrow. In joy as well as in sorrow. I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to love you unconditionally. To support you in your goals. To support you in your goals. Honor and respect you. Honor and respect you. To laugh with you. To laugh with you. And cry with you. And cry with you. And to cherish you. And to cherish you. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Hope, please repeat after me to Luke. I, Hope Hancock. I, Hope Hancock. Take you, Luke Ellis. Take you, Luke Ellis. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. My constant friend. My constant friend. My faithful partner. My faithful partner. And my love. And my love. From this day forward. From this day forward. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. Our family. Our family. And friends. And friends. I offer solemnly vow. I offer solemnly vow. To be your faithful partner. To be your faithful partner. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. And in joy as well as in sorrow. In joy as well as in sorrow. I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to love you unconditionally. And support you in your goals. And support you in your goals. To honor and respect you. To honor and respect you. To laugh with you. To laugh with you. And to cry with you. And to cry with you. And to cherish you for as long as we both shall live. And to cherish you for as long as we both shall live. The ring is an ancient symbol of commitment that both of you are making today. If you notice a ring, it has no beginning and no end, just as God's plan for your marriage was created before the foundations of time were created, and it has no expiration date. It also serves to identify to the world that you belong to each other. Just as your Aggie rings tells the whole world something important about both of you, your wedding ring that you're about to exchange will tell the world that the two of you are now ending your chase and forsaking all other chases for your lifetime. Luke, take this ring and put it on Hope's left ring finger and repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed. Hope, take this ring and place it on Luke's left ring finger, ring finger, and repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed. By the powers vested in me, by the state of Texas, and in accordance with God's word, I now pronounce you husband and wife. What God has brought together, let no one tear apart. Luke, this is the part you've been waiting for. You may now kiss your bride. It is my privilege and honor to be the first to announce Mr. and Mrs. Luke Ellis. Wow.